Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. This is Excalibur IN and I welcome all of you to the next episode of Grand Theft Auto Vice City playthrough. So sit back, relax and enjoy. I was hoping that we would we start off from yesterday from where we left. But uh, there is a slight problem with it. <laughs> I forgot to save the game yesterday when I ended the stream. Yeah, so I'm just gonna try and rush through the segment that we did yesterday. So let's get that out of the way quickly. Okay, I did not realize that we would face the problem of our car exploding. Okay, that was unexpected. Okay, we need to get that car quickly. I seriously can't believe I'm still struggling with this thing. Just die, please. Thank you. It was good. I followed my timetable nicely all the week. Oh, that's great. That's great. I think it's one of the more um, in, uh, like if you're able to follow a particular schedule, it helps a lot, especially with your head, mind. In terms of mind, like when I uh, go around with my streams, I like to ensure that I am able to follow a specific schedule. You know, because uh, thing about streaming is that you also have to be consistent with whatever you do. Hope you guys were able to see my pathetic fails on the bike on my <laughs> on my Instagram. I have uploaded. No, 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 no. I I seriously need to stop uh, getting arrested that way. I I I had a bit of a problem with that. Don't take the bike. <laughs> Hi, Aditya. How are you? Just gonna stand there and watch me burn. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I rage quit. <laughs> yes, you can say that. Technically, I, I rage quit without saving the game, and now I'm having to pay for it uh, with having to play those same missions again. It's not even a plane. I don't even know what plane is that. Oh wait, it's a maybe a Bombardier CRJ 700, maybe. Premat Singh a Hindi song kuda. Das bahane karke le gaye dil, le gaye dil. Das bahane. I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. It's just too embarrassing for me. <laughs> oh, no, don't you dare kill me. I'm not dying. I am not losing to this mission again. We need to get to the pain spray. Oh my god. Okay, why are you doing this to me? Please no. Please no. Why did it not pick up the health? Okay, please, 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 please stop. <laughs> don't arrest me, don't arrest me, don't arrest me. <laughs> just, 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 just. <sighs> I don't like this mission. I don't like this mission. Oh, that was so close. If I hit him, the cops would have come out on me again. Oh, God. We still have the couple of the Haitian missions that are there, the ones we don't like. Is it the one where we should we should we get armor? We should get armor, we should heal ourselves. Yeah. Let's just take the bike and go there quickly. I know we should not take bikes. Bikes are our greatest enemy in this damn game, but I can't help it. No, we take this. Let's get no, we don't need this. Okay, that's all we need. Let's just do the love fist mission right now. The one we hate. This mission we hate. To the core. No, 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 Monavi. We are taking a cab. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Oh, so close. I could have dismounted him. Just fall over somewhere. Thank you. Make my life easier. He knows that I hate this mission and that I'm doing it all over again. We didn't do a lot of missions yesterday, did we? I mean, yes, I did rage quit, but still. Left on? Thank you. Okay, we got the cops on this. I don't even want to touch. I would prefer to have a bike for this particular sex segment of the mission. Because bikes are faster. But bikes are also... You know, uh, it's, 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 it's not ironic, it's coincidental that the game... Like, the amount of times I have d failed and died because of bikes... Is uh, justifiable for us to say... <gasps> Oh, 
आर यू किटिंग मी Why does this game hate me so much? What did I do? I don't even have any weapons. We'll have to buy some weapons. Can't go in there unarmed. We need to get armor as well. So you know, I was re- I was uh, reading. Uh, I'm not reading. I heard someone somewhere that uh, the name M O N I K A Monica that actually is used to as a substitute for the N word. <laughs> If you say it fast, it sounds like that. Monica, in an accent, of course. I shouldn't say that. I'll get banned. <laughs> I I know it's so surprising. Like, how could you even? How could anyone even think about think of this? Like, what, 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 what was someone thinking of this when they decided to like the thought of this? Is weird. Ten bucks. I do this mission in the f- second attempt. I mean, this is the second attempt. and i don't fall off a bike <gasps> okay so i lost the bet monica <laughs> okay left turn oh so good 10 seconds 10 seconds 10 seconds 10 seconds no are you kidding me no thank god oh tell me why you never done save kar yes i'll just do it After uh, this mission, yes, G G. Oh, his gun disappeared. Okay, now I'm gonna go and save. I'm not taking a risk. So basically, we're supposed to kill the wife of someone, and uh, bas and then we should be able to. Uh, we have to make it look like an accident. Basically, just crash into her all the time. Which doesn't make sense. And what is that walk? So basically, the strategy over here is that we hit. We can't use weapons on this one because we have been told to make it look like an accident. So we'll just crash into her now and then, make it so. Oh hi, cro- hi crosshatcher. How are you? Such a big moon. Oh yes, you're right. Who oh, has the heck? I I I was talking about yeah. So. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about uh, what do you think about reciprocity? Because uh, yesterday, uh, because you guys are here now, so Aditya was here yesterday. So I was talking to him about reciprocity. So do you guys think that reciprocity should be expected? And when I say expected, it's like you know when you do something for a person, should you expect some? Should you expect them to help you again as well in the future? Because the entire premise of a relationship that we establish with each others. is that we help someone so they you know help us in return not because you expect it but it that's how the relationship is built you know when you're in need you um help each other so i i just wanted to know your perspective like should reciprocity be expected never expect anything so you know uh while you're right i mean you know uh we shouldn't ha- help anyone with the expectation that they will uh do something for us in return but then what do you think about uh times when people do help you but at the same time they don't do anything so you don't get disappointed <laughs> expectations are you can't be disappointed if your expectations are non existent but yeah, i mean you know uh coming back to the what i wanted to talk about it's, it's, i think it's i think uh ex- reciprocity should be expected not consciously subconsciously Mega, you also don't expect. We are a bunch of people who don't expect anything. <laughs> I mean, you're right, but the expectations are about the unsaid things. How do you mean? Like, what? What do you mean by unsaid things? Either you must be remembering this mission easily. Ah, uh, I don't because people I know won't help me back. Like, just now I do. Yeah. So you know, then should one limit themselves? Is the question. You know, should one not go overboard? Because you see. I have been experiencing this uh, last couple of weeks that uh, one, like I could go overboard with helping someone, but I would literally see no initiative from their side. So, should uh, someone, if you know that they're not going to be the same way with you, that was that is what I wanted to know. No one, no one shouldn't change for anything. Yeah, I guess, but then you know you do feel bad about stuff. Like for example, if you do something for someone and you're not expecting anything in return, uh, keeping that in perspective, 
should would you wouldn't you like still feel bad or should you just do what you feel is right yeah i guess yeah i mean actually that is kind of like vague you know because doing what we feel is right is a matter of perspective i mean i i, I hope you get my point you know that you are not exactly uh, bound to help people at the same time like you said if we have expectations it's only going to lead to disappointment this that's the phrase that i've heard most often yes it's very subjective true it is very subjective so yeah i mean my perspective on the issue is that uh, the topic is that if you are uh, doing something for someone and subconsciously you would expect something you know like the same kind of behavior and you're bound to feel bad about stuff if you're not getting it i don't expect anything in return but when you help good people they are there when you need them and they give so many blessings yeah to that but again it's about like you know some people who do it they're not the problem it's the people who are nice but at the same time they probably don't know about uh, yeah i mean it's, it's is it like necessary for people to you know because the, every the good people again good like subjective you know like good person could be someone who is nice to you and you don't have any conflicts with them and at the same time you have a good relationship with them like i personally have experienced that i would have good relationship with people and i would still not see that proactiveness in their approach to helping me out just taking me as an example i don't know how the relationship with the others but they probably won't have that same level of um, proactiveness and you know what i mean by proactiveness you know like if to tomorrow any of you comes up to and ask me for some kind of help and i have the capacity to help you out i would actually go out of my way to help you out i would take the initiative i would take the initiative to like you wouldn't have to tell me twice you tell me once and i'll mo- most likely do it same yeah sorry for lies <laughs> i mean i don't know how to put this into words i guess like aditya said that you should do what is right so up, after a certain point of time you will stop believing that what you're doing is in your best interest so you are likely to just let it go and not do anything about it you know at least that's what i think uh, it might turn out to be i have figured out what i'm supposed to do in that mission in this mission when we have to get out from there vamos indeed, vamos indeed. <laughs> yeah yeah Okay, we just bomb rush it. Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. Sixty-nine. I have got sixty-nine health. Nice. See, this is where we're supposed to go. Here. First, we get the health pickup. Then we go up here. Done. That's a lot of explosions, and someone is still alive. Oh, biker gang, खत्म कर दे. चलो फिर biker gang खत्म कर देते हैं भाई. I do not want to make another compilation of me falling off bikes. Please, thank you. So you guys want to know an ironic thing? I have played uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 and Grand Theft Auto 5 on my current PC, and I found that Grand Theft Auto 5 is much. more smoother in its functioning like it like i have consistent uh, fra- frames uh on my uh pc then i get on gta 4 like gta 4 lags much more than gta 5 i have no idea why that happened probably because, i mean i do know that uh gta 4 was a far worse um what do you say port from the consoles because i there were a lot of issues back then when i first uh, when i first start, wanted to play gta 4 it was like 60 years ago there were a lot of issues with the port from the console to the pc but uh, i have noticed that the gta 5 is much better in its optimization 
By the way, uh, how many of you guys got vaccinated? Apart from you, I mean, like first dose, second dose. Were you guys able to get vaccination? Because I have not been able to get vaccinations. It's kind of sad the way things are going with this entire vaccination thing. Because no slots, same. Not able to find any slots for the vaccine. I mean, I see uh, people getting vaccinated and, and I want to ask them what is it that they're doing which is helping them get vaccinated. Can't go to the appointment. Why can't you go to the appointment? Can't get, I mean, uh, you can't get the appointment. Sorry, I thought you said can't get to the appointment. Yeah, I was talking about the vaccination, so it's kind of sad the way things are right now with the vaccine and everything. I think they opened up the vaccination for the 18 to 45 age group too early, according to me. Because they have nothing. They, have no, they don't have vaccines or anything. That is a major problem because uh, as far as I can remember, until only a few times ago, like when I got my parents registered and scheduled their appointment, it was far easier to get, the, get, an, get a, what do we say, a slot. <laughs> it's actually kind of sad. You know, you would think that, I mean, you know, India is having one of the largest production centers for the vaccine. Like, so much uh, is going into it. Limited sorts are made available daily, but they get hooked within few seconds. Book within few seconds. And you know, the biggest problem with that entire process is that that OTP never comes whenever those slots are available. At least with me. Never been able to log in to Covin website whenever the uh, applications have opened up you know like i just don't get it what is the use of such a such a platform if you're not able to use it when the uh plots are open i guess we just have to wait a few weeks you know before we actually get uh the vaccine proper slot for the vaccine that is i hope i don't die because of the damn pop i mean i have not been able to log in whenever there has been a slot one of my friends said that she woke up at 3 a.m. Slot. I mean, what, what, what is this? Like, why should we be able to do? Why should we have to do that? So basically, none of us have gotten vaccinated in the chat. Whoever is here, you can join Telegram channels which give alerts when slots are available near you, but you'll have to log in beforehand and keep refreshing the site. I mean, you know, that's that's kind of like a pain, you know. I mean, people will. I mean, especially people like us, you know, all of us, we don't have time to uh, sit and watch the COVID website that the slots are going to be opening up like if you have some kind of insider information in a way you can do it but i guess it's a little difficult to be able to do it you know at a moment's notice but yeah, the point is that uh, something as crucial as the vaccination shouldn't be dependent on non-official government channels you know non-official channels of communication like i should get an sms from my local authority from my corporation that Vaccinations are available, you can book the slots right now. Something like that, you know. And it's not even that difficult to uh, code. It's pretty, pretty basic thing. I mean, people do it all the time. You know, I remember before also, I used to find the airport area to be very confusing. What the? Okay, that was unexpected and we need to run. Dude, don't... My God. I'm gonna quickly grab the fucking hell. Bikes, that's it guys. I, I'm cancelling bikes. I do not like bikes anymore. It's official. For Apollo Hospital, slots are open at 5.30pm on Monday and Thursday. But you have to be very quick. Ah, yeah. that's. Th I think I'll wait for some time. So that the entire uh, vaccination procedure is normalized, you know, like the rush goes o is over. I think that's the better thing rather than stressing over getting the vaccinated now. Because I'm uh, the vaccinations are gonna go on for some time, at least for the next two three years at least. I I'll try to I'll take maximum care when uh, going out for the time being. Anyway, I don't go out that often, so it won't be much of a problem. It's just that it's too much of a pain to keep such a keep this track, you know. But I understand that it's a logistical issue. We are what? We are 120 crore people. Uh, it will take us a minimum of three years before we have like 100% vaccination. You know? <laughs> that is a Beyblade. Uh, do you guys miss Beyblade? I miss watching Beyblade.
My brother and I used to fight for TV remote. I wanted to watch a serial and he wanted to watch Beyblade. Well, I don't blame your brother. Beyblade was fun. Beyblade was damn fun. I miss Beyblade because because you see it was one of the first. I think it's anime. I'm just going to call it anime. One of the first animes that I really liked watching. I already and I bought all of us bought toys for all of us bought toy uh, and uh, a Beyblade. Everyone had a Beyblade one now in their in their lives. I still remember the Beyblade. I Beyblades I had. I like what four or five of them. And the spinners, and then we had the stadium, and just sit here, and we're gonna wait. There were many types of Beyblades, and my favorite version of the Beyblade was the Metal Fusion version, because it was so sturdy and it was made out of good, good quality materials. I yeah, Metal Fusion is the uh, one I'm talking about, like the Beyblades that you used to get from Metal Fusion. Plus, you could customize it so nicely, and then there was this entire concept of Bit Beast, Bit Beast. Everyone wanted the high dragoon or whatever it's whatever his name was. Let's go. Okay, we won't be able to make that jump. Uh, there is another rooftop. Yeah, there. Let's go there. This should work. This should work. This should work. Plus, we have the ambulance who can heal us if we low run low on him. Oh, that works. Shitish, that was a good suggestion, man. Thank you. Come on. Just a little bit more. Just, just do it, please. Go, 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 go. Nice. 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 Good one, good one. Thanks, Shitish. That this one, this one was big. This was done because of you. Also, what do you guys opinion is like? Should I do? Hin, like should I do streams in Hindi? I mean, मुझे कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ता है। मेरा हिंदी इतना खराब भी नहीं है, but it's just that कि is the are are there a decent number of Indians on Twitch would watch uh, someone streaming in Hindi? Just a genuine perspective that I want to gain from you all. Like I can do English and Hindi both. It's just that uh, gaming terms are better spoken in English. I find it easier, but I can do Hindi. Hindi is fine. I mean, I would definitely want to focus on the Indian community because again, India is the rising market. Yeah, here, all the companies are coming. I mean, look at it. Rockstar Bangalore is hiring game testers, so it's a rising market. So maybe Twitch would be fun. English, he perfect. Hai. Aisa. We can do a mix, you know. I mean, we'll try to figure out who comes from where. Like, I have a widget down in the about section, which will tell us if there's uh, where our viewers coming from. Hopefully, that will give us some insights. Thank you. <laughs> I like the way he just jumps onto the bike. You know. Okay, let's go. I know what I'm supposed to do. This is gonna go quickly and jump over there. So the trick here is that I have to land on the back wheel, otherwise I'll fall off. Uh, where am I supposed to go out from? I think it's here. Yeah, that was easy. That was the the easiest mission we have done this uh this stream. No other mission was that easy. Are you going to have a shoot off over here? No, no, you're not killing me. Who do you think you are? 